Hi everybody in St. Thomas's, Miss Tiskin here. Today I'd like to talk to you about butterflies and the life cycle of the butterfly which is called metamorphosis. So you may have watched last week on Miss O'Mara's video of the story of the hungry caterpillar that the caterpillar starts off as a tiny little egg that's laid on a leaf. Then after a while he pops out as a tiny little caterpillar. Now, in the wild, they don't arrive in a box like this, but this box says fragile, which means they're very delicate. This is what he pops out and looks like. And in the jar here, there's a tiny little hole in the lid that we can't really see to make sure that the caterpillars can breathe. The butterfly life cycle is called metamorphosis. So that's how they change from an egg to a caterpillar and then into butterfly. Inside the jar you can see the caterpillars have gotten quite big and fat. Here's one of them waving at you and they're rummaging around inside the jar because there's special food at the bottom that has lots of sugar in it and there's a lot of moisture in there as well for them to have enough to eat and drink while they're in here. They also have a little stuff called webbing which is like spider webs. They spin this webbing and wrap it around themselves at times to attach to the plant that's called their host plant if they were living in the wild. And sometimes they use the webbing or silk to wrap around a leaf and cover themselves inside the leaf to hide from predators so they don't get eaten. They breathe through tiny little holes at the bottom of, and the sides of their bodies and these holes are called spiracles. So there they are moving around and they eat and grow for about 10 days inside the jar before they change into a cocoon or a chrysalide. During the time that they're inside the jar, they shed their skin four times. Their skin is called an exoskeleton. This means that the skeleton's on the outside of their bodies, not like us with our skeletons on the inside. As they grow, they get too fat for their skeleton. So this is why they peel off their skeletons and grow new ones. So I don't know if you can see on the video, but we've noticed that there's lots of little black balls at the bottom. And that's actually their old skeletons all rolled up and just left to the side. After a while, when they, they'll get really big, they'll grow up the side of the jar and, and turn themselves into a J shape. And they'll attach themselves to the lid. When they do this, they'll start to spin around with their special silk. And then that's the start of them making their cocoons or chrysalide. When that'll happen in the next video, in a week or two, I'll move them into this special net. This is the butterfly garden net and they'll attach themselves to the side of the net here and then they'll emerge as butterflies. So tune in in another couple of weeks and see us releasing our butterflies into the garden. See you soon.